Okay, if you are lucky enough to have a dragon fruit hobbyist as a friend, then you're probably gonna get um, cuttings from this friend at some point because uh, they just love to share. That's what how how we are. So I have this uh, cutting of enemy swipe. So I'm gonna show you what you do once you get this cutting from your friend. Now, you have a pad right here. This is a heat pad. It's called seeding heat pad. So it's warm at a you know very low temperature. So you can have, put your hand on it. And what you do if you have a little takeout container like this, and just uh, put it, you know fill it with water, and then you put it in. And that's it. That's all you need to do to let the roots come out. Now make sure you mark the name, right? Vietnamese white, so you know what a variety you have. And eventually, you see that? Roots will come out. Uh, you know, it depends on the variety and also the season that you put do that you start doing this. Uh, so I put these in here for about maybe a month already. So now the, the roots are growing. So I'll show you what I do next. <clears throat> Let me go outside, excuse the blurriness here. So once you come out here, check this out. It's supposed to do that, right? So from this, from all the roots and all, it's, you put it in a transfer into soil, kind of a same kind of container. And then in this, see what happens. See, see it's starting to grow in this tiny little container. I'll show you this. So this one here, I put some dates on here. You see uh, August 17 W. You see that? Yeah, here you go. You can see that now. W means that's when I put it into the water container like I showed you in the beginning. So that's when I put it in there and in a week or so, in just 15 days or two, you know, on August 30th, uh, there's an S. That's when I transferred it over to soil. So it only takes about two weeks for you to see the roots to come out. You can see the roots on the side of the wall here. And all the soil see there's a lot that came now so since august 30th to today which is um november 26th the day after thanksgiving or two days after thanksgiving look how how tall it grew this is probably i want to say maybe 18 inches high so this um new bud that grew and it became a, a new um strand of dragon fruit so i'm gonna grow this uh, when in spring or transfer it to a larger pot and let it grow so right now um, oh, this one looks like I need some water so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do let me show you I gotta get everything ready here I kind of got it ready so I have um, all these branches that I'm gonna need to transfer over to soil from water see they all have roots already and uh, they're growing pretty long so I didn't want to keep leaving it in there so let me set the camera ready There you go. Now you can see. So this one is kind of dry. You can see all there's no water in here. So I'm gonna get some water. So I'm gonna need to water it. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I just got a bucket like this, and I kind of explained in the previous video that all this water is all safe on my shower runoff. That that's the first 10, 15 seconds of cold pipe water that uh, normally goes down the drain, but I save it. So I'm just gonna you know, use it like this. right here so you can see see the water that's all you need you don't need a lot of water I love this uh, kind of container you get to see the water go through here see and then um, you just leave it in this bucket and then I'm gonna get another one here so all of these are growing this is my delight variety I just had it uh, this winter uh, this Thanksgiving and it's a very sweet the whole family thought it was sweet so it's a good variety It's a keeper yeah, so there you go. You don't need a lot of water. See, this is the best way, right? So this water is free already. And look how little you need just to water this thing. You don't need a lot. Okay. And then you see how I put the lids like that? I purposely put it like that. So when water leaks out, it just uh, gets retained in this. Um, oops, sorry. It gets retained. See, I flip it inside. And as opposed to this way, I do it that way. So the lid is useful too. So it keeps the water in. Let me just add a little bit more water on here. Well, I think this uh, seems like this video is going to go a long way. Hopefully you guys are uh, okay. I typically like to do short videos, but if I'm going to do this one at a time, you're never going to 
this is going to become a long video all right i'm just going to keep doing it now so here's another one that i need to water so i've been leaving it out here for like i want to say maybe two weeks now since i uh, watered it last so every two weeks it kind of gets dried up so that's okay these guys don't need a lot of water and it's also winter time right now in northern california so it's okay see they didn't uh, they're not dying or anything they're just still looking happy look at them they're very um very nice you see the bud very sh yeah they're just growing and I, I i don't put these out in the open in the air i kind of keep it in the shady part or kind of the inside part of my uh, room here so there you go i leave it here so this way the water doesn't get all out even if it does it's no no big deal this is a rubber tray that i got from um ikea and it's very useful so i'm gonna just transfer it like so and then uh, just uh, fill this one with water too see when you run out of water all you need to do is just get a little bit more from the bucket and you know i don't need to get a lot so i can control the flow of the water when i pour yeah and this guy looks like it's ready to go down so i can just put this right here Oops. like so and then this one i can just, i can tell how much water to put by looking at the side see the, the good thing about this clear container is that you can see it and you can see the roots grow see this is so cool right so that's that all right so i'm gonna put this one right here so I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm just going to put this aside for now. We have water, water that everything is reusable. I'll put this aside so I can show you what I do next. So these are new containers, which I uh, punch a hole in there already. Uh, so I, I don't have to like show you how to make a hole. Everybody can do it. So I have my soil, my uh, fox farm which is okay it doesn't matter what kind of soil to start but this is a good soil to start so it's because i'm going to transfer it over to uh, another bigger container in the future anyways so there you go like that i try to get it up to maybe the top line over here and then i scoot this guy i don't need to scoot it over all right so let's start with one of them let's just pick one of these guys out this one is a vietnamese white i don't know if i need to grow so many vietnamese whites but all right let's do it so let's just put it right here it's kind of stable so i just dig a deep hole let the let the roots go in like so and then uh naturally just shake it up you know i'm not gonna i'll pour it out first and i'll pour the soil in after right you know there's no need to have so much soil right from the get-go i'm just gonna do it like that i mean since i'm doing it here okay now i'm gonna fill it with soil see much easier right you don't have to start from the beginning and then uh, you know you're gonna shake it a little bit now normally to keep it in place i would do a chopstick to hold it but i didn't get my chopstick ready sorry you know i missed a little bit of detail here so i will put that chopstick in there later to hold it straight and there you go that's uh, one of them and then if you want to you know put water in this is all you do you just get some more um, water from here and then you can just since this is a drier soil never got water before it's going to take a little bit longer see so i put the bucket right here keep everything clean you know you don't need to dirty the floor you know don't do it on your carpet that's for sure huh? yeah you just uh, keep it like so so later on i'm going to put a chopstick right here to hold it straight so it doesn't fall off you need some sort of uh support for this guy see and you can see water's uh, soaking through so i'm gonna let it soak all the way through through the bottom on the first uh first time see you can also control where the guard to go right by tilting it and all see there you go there you go that's how it works on that i'm gonna do one more just to let you know that yeah this is repeatable it's not a one-time uh, process here right yeah so this is a repeatable process and this is my assembly line i basically um you know set it all up from left to right so let's see what i want to do what do i want to do oh this guy looks pretty good this is a um, ooh, check this out this is my sugar dragon so there's a lot of root on the sugar dragon so i'm gonna grow a sugar dragon right now here we are dig a little bit right there and then get some more of this 
Yeah, pop it in. See, the thing is that, you know, to keep it clean is I do the in the bag, right? So, you know, you don't lose any of the soil. There you go, like so. Shake it a little bit. And you don't need that high, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? If it's more soils, more or less, it's no big deal on here because you're gonna transfer this over to a larger pot in the future and the soil will go with it. So it's not like you're gonna be tossing this uh, soil away. See? And then this one is sound is so stable, I don't even need a, you know, you don't need to have a chopstick for every single one of them. It's not gonna fall. So since I tip the top, this one, you know, the new butts will most likely grow from the side. So that's okay. So when it grows, it was, uh, you know, it's just uh, gonna stay pretty stable. All right. And then the water time. All right, here we go. Yep. There you go. See, this is a repeatable process. Once you get the system down, it's so easy. You could like grow 10 of these in like, you know, half an hour, right? You can, you know, get everything ready. It doesn't take long. And then uh, once you have it all, you can hand it, you know, hand it off to a friend. Well, this is me handing off to a friend, not you, since you're just getting these uh, new uh, branches from a friend. You'll be doing it like this. And also, um, you probably won't have this many to do. Uh, because, um, you know, unless you're going to go into this hobby, you know, hard, you know, hardcore hobby like this. Oops. You know, you're not going to be doing so much. You're just going to grow maybe four or so. You know, you should, as, as a starter, you should probably have four. And ideally have uh, maybe two varieties at least, right? Not just one. You know, a Vietnamese white is always the uh, good starter one because that's just something that everyone's familiar with. Maybe not the best tasting one, but it is the easiest one to grow. They don't, you know, they will, uh, they are self-fertile and they self-pollinate. That means they can, you know, even if you forget to like pollinate it one night, it, you know, your chances are, it's a good chance that it will pollinate itself. So it will just grow and you have nothing to worry about. So there you go. That's how we're going to do it. Um, I'm not going to show you all of those and do all these because that will make this video really long.